the first of our four relay showdowns. Belgium coming through to take their place in the final, making history three brothers in a world or Olympic team for the very first time. Jonathan Borle, fourth in the 400 metres, he leads them off. Dramita Hurdle, gold medalist on leg three, and Jaren Solomon, fourth in the semi final, he anchors them. Jamaica, six bronze medals and two silvers. Yes, we can see you. Rasheen McDonald on first leg for them. Javon Francis goes last. He ran a relay split of 44.8 when he was just 18 years of age. The United States of America, David Verberg looks pretty relaxed. Ten golds they've had in this competition. LaShawn Merritt goes anchor leg. Will it be double gold for the individual champion? Russia, surprisingly, only one medal. That was back when the days of the USSR in 1983, Dildin. Krasnov will have to go fast for them on the last leg. Good quartet from Great Britain. Conrad Williams on lead leg. Martin Rooney going second. Nigel Levine coming in on the anchor leg, the European under-23 gold medalist a couple of seasons ago. And on the outside, the Australians. Bronze medalists in 2009, Solomon Beck, Burns and Thomas. So... The Americans start in lane five. Can the Jamaicans, can the Britons, the Russians, or the Trinidadians get in the mix? The crowd have stayed for this. They're in the mood after the antics of Menkov and Lysenko in the field events. They will be roaring the Russian quartet on their way in lane six. Look for Belgium early on. They've got their two best volleys to start. Final of the men's 4x400 meter relay. Belgium, Brazil, Trinidad, Jamaica, United States, Russia, Britain, Australia. So what kind of start will the Americans make? David Verberg looked pretty relaxed before they started. Jonathan Borle's running well on the inside. So we've got Verberg trying to close down on Dildin outside in the Russian, and he's doing so at the moment. Good running by Jonathan Borle on the inside, already coming up and going past De Oliveira, the Brazilian. Conrad Williams going well on the outside. He's having a battle with Stephen Solomon, the Australian, who's now starting to respond. And Dildin's coming back on Verberg. That's why the crowd are getting excited. The Americans hand over in first, just. Martin Rooney goes for Great Britain on the second leg. Mosin of Russia into third, and Beck of Australia on the outside. The second of the Borle brothers coming through on the inside, Kevin. But it's Tony McQuay leading at the moment. The individual silver medalist. Martin Rooney with that huge loping stride is coming up onto the shoulder of the Russian Mosin into second place. And Kevin Borle having a good leg. So too Edino Steele of Jamaica. Those four in a line. But it's McQuay at the moment. He'll hand over to Arman Hall, who was fifth in his semi-final. So it's United States leading. It's the third of the Borle brothers. It's Dylan coming into second place but remember the two fastest Belgians have already run we've got Michael Bingham of Great Britain hanging on to third place at the moment and the Jamaicans and the Russians are trying to get in the mix it's Omar Johnson trying to come up on the shoulder of Petukov the Russian still Arman Hall for America leading it's a brilliant performance so far from the Belgians, but can they hang on for a medal come the last leg? Now Arman Hall responding. The Americans are on to the last leg with LaShawn Merritt leading. Belgium in second, Great Britain fourth. But the crowd are absolutely wild with excitement because Vladimir Krasnov has been given the battle in second place for the Russians. 
The Americans are away and clear and out of shot. And what a run by Javon Francis of Jamaica. He's gone storming into second place. Vladimir Krasnov will try and respond. On paper, he's really got something in the closing stages, but he's in a battle for bronze at the moment. It's all about the gold here, and it's all about the United States. LeSean Merritt is cruising to gold. A huge battle for... America take it, Jamaica second, and it's a bronze for Russia. They've come through in fine style for their first medal as Russia in this 4x4 relay. A brilliant finish from Krasnov. The Americans were away and clear, but the Russian quartet have ensured it's the loudest finish we've had to an evening here. The Russians were not to be denied a medal, but the Americans reign supreme. Well, great run from all those relay boys down there. The crowd really enjoyed it. The Jamaicans are in trouble, but the Americans really dominated the race, didn't they? There's no question about that. And on that one performance, that one gold medal, they go back onto the top of the medal tally after Russia's brief uh, appearance there for a while with those two gold medals in the field events. But a great, great run from them to get that bronze medal. It was almost a silver, wasn't it? <laughs> They're having to pick the man up from the track there because he dug in all the way, all the way to the line, Francis. Well, he's only 19 years of age and it's uh, quite a World Championships debut for the young man. Great run from him. He didn't give in. He kept going and he kept going and got the silver medal. Krasnov really did the job there for the Russians in terms of getting them on the podium. LeSean Merritt did look as though he was uh, tiring or hitting cruise control there. His stride length was shortening, but they were away and clear. And with the individual champion and silver medalist, the goal was already decided. But what a lunge for the line from Javon Francis, just denying the Russians. Merritt was cool for the gold, but the drama was about silver and bronze. Amazing to think the Russians had never won a medal in this event before now. Well, you're commenting on the Sean Merritt. I think that was just a little stroll in the park for him on the last leg, quite honestly. Very, very easy for the Americans, wasn't it, in the end? But what a great race behind. 11 golds now. They've only been off the podium twice. Well, the Americans really led right from the start. They got the baton uh, through first time there. The Borley brothers, of course, made sure that Belgium were in the mix, but we always knew that the last two were a lot slower than the first two. But there's the USA. There you see the second Borley taken over. Britain going well at that stage, but didn't quite have the strength of previous years with the uh, slightly disappointing run by Levine on the last leg. But the Americans flying well clear. Lovely battle there. And Russia really did well at that changeover, didn't they? To gain a few precious meters, which proved invaluable in the end. But you saw how far Francis was behind there, Peter. He was a long way back from the, uh, the rest of the field. Almost 15 or so meters back in about fifth place. What a lunge for the line. The noise was absolutely deafening. The crowd were absorbed by every stride of that 4x4. Four four. That was a training jog in the end for LeSean Merritt. Not interested in chasing the times. Double gold for the American. But what a silver and bronze for Jamaica and Russia. Yes, and both those teams breaking three minutes, and that's uh, well, the hallmark of 4x4 four four class, has been for some years now. Not the most talented US squad, but enormous <laughs> strength in depth. Boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> you, you, you don't get it much better than that. What an anchor leg run by Javon Francis, 18 years old. A young man who was at Boys Champs this year ran a stellar leg at the Penn Relays as well. But this, this Bruce James and, and Gillian Love wow. is as good as you'll ever get. As the commentator said, he was about 50 meters back. 15, 15 sorry. Yes. He was about 15 <laughs> meters back. And he took that baton. Here it is. 
Well done. He's back in about fifth or sixth. Fifth and place. My goodness me, what an anchor leg run. Yeah, a uh, heart of a champion. And he was, he went out, took all of them on the back stretch, got clear of the traffic and said, come and get me. And they could not respond. Yeah, they couldn't. 259.88, the second place time for the Jamaicans. Bruce, um, how do you analyze that? Okay, well, first of all, the team knew that they were down by half a second with the national champion. Look, I have to talk about Javon Francis here. At this point, a young boy would say, you know what, I need to wait and save. He goes all out. He says, I'm going to pass everybody in my week, and he does that. Now, at this stage, you think, okay, he'll now rest and try to save for the kick. He doesn't. He keeps going. And when you think about what's going through his mind, he'll just run past four men older and bigger than him. He gets to the straight and he realizes this is it. And who comes after him? The Russian, the hometown favorite. And not only does he come after him, he catches him. Does Japan Francis give up? He says, I don't care if I'm born in December 1994. You're not going to pass me. Javon Francis wins a silver medal <laughs> for, for Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah, it's, it's an absolutely magnificent performance. And we'd love to get the time on that split because it was... Uh, quite splendid, you know, we've had some brilliant uh, four by four runners in the past certainly Davian Clark comes to mind um, You think think back all the way to 1952 with that stunning run at the Olympic Games by Herb McKinley um, Another caliber man by the way You've got to think of this one in, in that class. It was truly spectacular. And it's a medal as well that not many people had us getting. I, I certainly did not see a medal in the men's four by four. And up until that final leg, it looked as if it was not gonna be possible, Bruce. Uh, it looked challenging because we left the weight on the youngest person on the team, Javon Francis. He is 18, December 1994 is his birthday. He has been running all year. He's been running on the grass tracks here in Jamaica. He went to the pen, well, at Champs, superstar for Calabar, did exceptionally well. That was expected. However, when he got to the pen relays, he actually won for Calabar on that anchor leg, defeating Delano Williams. And some people said his split was 44.9 seconds. Now, viewers, people said, but in high school, people can't run that fast. And people said, how did he beat Delano Williams? Because at that point, Delano Williams at Voice Champs had won the one and the two, almost breaking Usain Bolt's records here at Voice Champs. So people questioned Javon Francis. I didn't question him because when I saw him at the National Stadium for the development meets, he was beating the Jamaican seniors. And when he got to the National Championships, he proved his mettle. He ran 45-24, narrowly missing Davian Clark's National Junior record. He says he's in the best shape of his life. He proved it now on the biggest stage. Yeah, it, it's an absolutely amazing feat. And when you think as well that Javon Francis ran very late into last year, having gone to the World Junior Championships, and he had to run all season this year, going through uh, Gibson Relays, Champs, uh, Carifta, um, Penn Relays, the national trials. It's been such a long season, but still he can come midway in August and produce this type of performance. Jillian, were you surprised when he took on um, the other athletes down that back stretch? Because as Bruce said, you expect a youngster to just sit in and hope that he can kick past them in the straight. Well, from what I've heard from, from all the people who have spoken about this young man, he's a special talent, uh, just the heart of a lion, a champion, battle-tested, uh, meet after meet. He knows how to run this race. He didn't uh, do so well in the flat event, but that, that doesn't necessarily equate well to the relay. You just need to have somebody with, who goes out there and goes after, the, after it like he wants it, and he did. He just gapped them on the back stretch, like took them out, said, I'm not waiting behind. I'm going to go out there and you catch me if you can. And they could not. Yeah, it's a great day seven for Jamaica so far. Gold by Shelly and Fraser Price in the women's 200 meters, silver in the men's 4x4 four four relay. Of course, Damar Forbes placed eighth in the men's long jump final earlier. We are going to be, uh, there is uh, Usain Bolt with Shelly and Fraser Price. You're looking at some pictures there. Usain will be getting ready tomorrow to try and achieve uh, his double. So we're going to come back. Um, <laughs> we, we need to get some things to drink. We need to take a deep breath. And, and we need to try and understand exactly what, what we just, just saw on. from yeah. The 18-year-old, Javon Francis, an absolutely magnificent talent. I leave you with this. His nickname, 
is Donkey Man. Now you know why. Let's take that break. <laughs>